So I'm going to do a powdered sugar treatment for Varroa mites and on this hive I'm just going to put the powdered sugar on the tops of the frames um, and let the sugar fall down between the cracks. Uh, on another hive I'm going to uh, show you how it's done where you coat all the bees on all the frames with sugar. There's different methods and I want to show you both methods but this particular method that a lot of people use it's a more efficient method is just sprinkling the powdered sugar on top of all the frames and that coats the bees with sugar powder and that encourages grooming when the bees groom each other they take the varroa mites off and the varroa mites fall to the bottom it is a, a good method of getting rid of varroa mites and you just sprinkle the sugar all over them and it's probably a good idea to do it on a less windy day it's a little there's a little breeze and it's just blowing away you don't have to coat the bees 100 percent you just want to get enough sugar on them to encourage them to groom each other put a little bit more in here When you do the powdered sugar treatment, you need to use a screen bottom board. So I'll have to move the supers off and switch the bottom board. So this is a bottom board that has a screen on it. This is number eight hardware cloth. There's a insert in this bottom board that slides in and out. What we're going to do with this insert is coat it with oil. When the varroa mites fall to the bottom, they'll get stuck on this oil and they won't be able to get back up. And this is just vegetable oil. Crisco is something that's better to use, but I don't have any on me at the moment. so. I'm just going to spread this around and the varroa mites fall in this. They'll get stuck and not be able to get back up. So it's a natural treatment, no chemicals, just powdered sugar and it works quite well. So that's pretty much how it's done. My camera shut off before I could complete what I was doing, but what I did next was I brushed all the tops of the frames off so that the sugar would fall down between the cracks and coat the bees and then close the hive back up. This method is a little quicker than the other method. In the other method you actually take each individual frame out and you dust all the bees on both sides of the frame, put the frame back in, pull the next frame out, dust all the bees that you see and do the same thing until you've gone through all the hive. But if you want to make sure that all your bees get properly coated, that's how you would do it. The powdered sugar method is something I use in conjunction with oxalic acid treatment. I stay away from any of the chemical treatments because I want to do natural treatments. Hopefully that helped you. Please hit the like button. That will help this video show up higher in YouTube search results. And if you want to comment, please leave a comment. You can ask an additional question. And if you like my videos in general, you can hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. And that way, whenever I upload a video, you'll get a notification saying that I uploaded a video and you can come over and watch it.